Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go through how to do a little bit more like complex mockups compared to the first one that we did in Affinity Designer. And I will leave a link up at the top right if you want to check out that older video. It was basically just taking a design with a transparent background and adding it into images to create your own mockup. I also go over the best places to find photos for these mockups and the reason why you do certain things with the mockup as far as like changing the layer style to multiply. But to get started today, I'm using the exact same three photos that I did in the last video. So we're going to use the pen tool this week. That way you can get the exact shape that you need to fill in either your artwork that has a background or patterns. So I'm starting with the easiest first. So it is just four points. It's really easy to do in case you are a little intimidated by the pen tool, which I totally understand. I stayed away from the pen tool for a very long time, but it is a useful thing to know how to use. To zoom in, command and the plus sign. And then you can use your space bar and you'll see that hand appear and you can move things around. So grabbing the pen tool, just click in the four corners of this frame. And if you didn't make it perfect, it's okay. You can always go back and change all of these points. Right now the shape has a black stroke and no fill. I'm just going to click those arrows to switch it. And the very next thing that I want to do is to grab the fill tool, go up to type and change that to bitmap. And I've already put in some of like my patterns. So as you can see, it just basically looks like your design put right on top of that, which is essentially what it did. So go over to your layers panel and switch it from normal to multiply. And as you can see, I'm going to move this over because I actually didn't do it like right up against that wood like I should have. If you zoom in, you will see the shadow from the frame and that's exactly what you want from a mockup. If it doesn't look realistic enough for you, like this still looks pretty much like I layered it on there, you can go in and change the opacity so it kind of matches the photo a bit more. One other thing you can do if you are not wanting to add a pattern, I'm just going to step this back a couple by hitting Command Z. And I'm going to open up that same exact design. So this could be any design, like if you happen to design something for a poster or something that you could see someone hanging in their house, you can open it in Affinity Designer, select the image, Command C to copy or edit and copy. Go back into your image and hit Command V to paste or edit paste. So for this, I'm just going to enlarge it and then go over to the layers panel and then just drop it down below. It'll say curve. That's just the, the shape that you made. Drop it down below and it will create that clipping mask that you want. And you're going to do the exact same thing that we did the last time. Make sure you have the curve selected and then go to multiply. You can decrease the opacity and you have created a very realistic looking mock-up for your artwork. Moving on, this one is a little trickier because there are more curves to match in this one. So all you're going to do is follow along the outline of the shape that you want to have your pattern conform to. So you're just making 
points along the way. This one you can see has a curve. So I'm just going over to the other side, clicking, and then I'm going to pull out to the left so that it creates that curve. And then if I make another point, it still tries to do a curve. So instead I'm just clicking on that last point again and it goes back to a straight line. So it's just curve, click, straight line, click to the curve, click, straight line, curve, click. So just continue all the way around. Okay, so once again, I am going to switch that fill color or that stroke to that fill color and then go to your fill tool, change that type to bitmap. So I'm just going to click anywhere in this fill and drag out. Holding shift will allow it to stay in that square shape instead of increasing or decreasing one side. So I'm happy with that and I'm just going to go over and change this to multiply. And as you can see, you get the shadow of that flower pot and you can always change the opacity if you would like. I'm going to zoom out and you can see how realistic that actually looks. And I know in the last one I mentioned, you could always go in and add kind of like stripes or something that matches this. So it looks more like a collection and not all like three of the same things. So I will quickly just add a couple other patterns to these. So this is like a little mini collection that I designed what seems like forever ago, but you can see it. it's nice, cute, kind of like spring like collection. And this mock-up was fast and it shows off the patterns in a really great way. So moving on to the very last image is the shirt. And as you can see, the majority of the shirt is something that you can fairly easily do with a pen tool. But there is a second shape because her arm has divided the shirt into two. All you need to do is to make two different shapes. So I'm just going to get started with the pen tool and trace this larger half and then come in and create the second shape for the other part of the shirt. And if at any point you need to adjust any of your points, you can click your, the A button on your computer just click any point that you want and you can either adjust the handle or you can adjust the point itself. Like this one, I just want to move. And that way it fits the shape of the piece of clothing or whatever you're wanting to use the mock-up for. And all you have to do is click P on your keyboard to go back to the pen tool. So once again, that first shape is complete. With the pen tool, just go ahead and start on the second part. You can see it matches the, where the shirt is. Go over to the layers panel and select the two shapes that you've created with the pen tool. And at the, kind of towards the top right on that toolbar, click add, and it will have put it into one, not really shape, but it puts it on that same layer. Um, so all you have to do is go back to that fill tool, go to bitmap, select the design. I'm just going to leave it at this size and change to multiply. And once I zoom in, you can see how it looks realistic. Like it's, you can see all of the shadows. And over here, you can see this isn't matching up quite the way that I would like it. So hit egg on your keyboard or click on the node tool and then you can just adjust these so that it matches up better. And if you save this file, you can actually very easily edit it. So once again, click on that curves layer, fill, first change to solid and then go back to bitmap and you can update it with any design that you would like. 
So that is a very easy way of creating more complex mockups in Affinity Designer to take your designs to the next level and you can show them off to all of your friends, family, and followers. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.